First pitch coming at you right after the break. Welcome, thanks for joining us. The World Series on MLB The Show coming up. It's the New York Yankees taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. John Shambi, Chris Singleton with you. There may be no better atmosphere in all of baseball than game one of the fall classic, Siggy. Lots of excitement to get this thing started. Yeah, and the players feel that just as much as the fans. You're down there with goosebumps, and these guys are just trying to stay in the moment. But I'll tell you, for the home team especially, it's so hard not to be emotional and hyped up with all the energy in this building right now. And on the other side, of course, you're looking to swing home field advantage your way with an all-important opening win on the road. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to roll here. And on the hill for the Dodgers, Walker Bueller. What's the scouting report on him? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming on the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. And stepping in for the Yankees, Glaber Torres. And he swings through that one. One ball. This to third. Oh, wow. nice play. Throw to first, and they get the out. Cat like reflexes on that one. Makes the dive, has to get up. Clean exchange to throw a strike across the diamond. And what a tremendous play. Here's Juan Soto. And that's in the dirt. Two and one. One out, base is empty. Fouls one off. Two and two. That one, 95 to finish him off. Oh, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. Two balls, two strikes. Two down, nobody on. Bows it back with two strikes. The 2-2. Two -two. And another ball. Two outs, space is empty. Three two now. The three two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Bat at first, and here is Giancarlo Stanton. He swings and fouls one off. Two outs. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. One left for the Yankees. The Dodgers coming up, and we are scoreless. This is the World Series on the show. Back here with my pal Siggy, getting the nod on the mound of Clark Schmidt. What do you look for here? 
The opposing hitters are going to see a lot of cutters. This guy can throw it to the front side of the plate, the back side of the plate, so you're really not able to cheat to get the fat part of the bat on the baseball. We go to the bottom of the first, and now here's the Dodgers' designated hitter, Chris Taylor. it off still one and two righty to the plate popped up Volpe settles under it and makes the catch and there's one down time now for Dave Roberts lineup for the Los Angeles Dodgers the sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today Chris yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting line drives, you know, maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating. You just hit one on the screws, think it's going to go out of the ballpark, and a guy is camped underneath it in front of the warning track. Two outs, bases empty. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. That one down the line and foul ball. Fights that one away, still one and two. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Dodgers down in order. We played an inning. No score. Top of the second and stepping in for the Yankees, Jazz Chisholm Jr. So far, the playoffs have not been kind to him, but tonight, a chance to start anew. So much of this game is mental. He's just got to tell himself, I'm here. I've worked hard all year. Go out, have fun. Trust your ability. You know, Siggy, there's... Got it. Anthony That's Volpe it. stepping in now for the Yankees. Volpe. The 1-1. Runner on the goal. Pitch in for a strike. Throw. Save. Pretty close play on that one. A perfect throw probably gets him. That throw is just a little wide to the third base side of the bag, so he had to reach a little bit to get it. Could have been just enough to make the difference there. The shortstop takes the ball. Larry Bullard making the calls behind the plate for us in this one. Pretty good strike zone. Well reviewed by those we talked to around the league. Yeah, he's an umpire. He doesn't get a lot of looks from players. Maybe here and there once in a while, but he's appreciated back there. And he deals. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Runner in scoring position. Nobody out here in game one. Left field. One down. That is that. The first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. And here is Anthony Rizzo. Game one of the World Series here tonight, and all he's hoping is that the success that he's had in the first couple of rounds continues. The great thing, you're here in the World Series. Now just try to have fun. The performance has been outstanding, and why should it stop now? How do they cool him off? Well, they're going to be extremely careful with him. I doubt he's going to get much to hit today, but when he does, be careful because he can hit it a long way. That Whoa, misses the zone. And now three balls and a strike. And ball four to a board. You know, Boog, it's been said these guys are savages in the box. You can see it right there with such tight plate discipline. So one out with two aboard. And now the catcher comes up to here. Jose Trevino. 
Two on, one out. Way inside, gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. And the pitch. Got him looking. Two gone now. Just locked him up right there for the second out, and that's an bat he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot, so now you've got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. So first and second with two outs. Here's Alex Verdugo. That one the other way. And it stays fair. Chisholm rounds third, headed for the plate. He will score, and the Yankees take the lead. one nothing. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. That was a thing of beauty. It may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that ball into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's Glaber Torres. And that one hit to first. He handles it himself. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 1-0 ball game. You're watching the World Series on the show. Back here at Dodger Stadium. We head to the bottom of the second. Here's the veteran outfielder, Teoscar Hernandez. And a 1-2. And another ball. That one misses. And it's 3-2. and two. And a pitch. The punch out there. And quickly one away in the second. Here's Muncie to hit. Next pitch way upstairs. Home team down a run here in game one of the World Series. That one's in there. Two and two. And this is inside. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Gets to it on the first. Ow. Two away now after the drop third strike. Off to a strong start, Singy, as he's punched out three of the first five he's faced. Well, he's definitely minimizing contact. He can get the swing and miss when he needs it, but he'll also keep the defense fresh behind him. Allowing some balls in play as well. And up to the plate is Will Smith. The Yankees leading by a run. Bottom half of inning number two. Swing and a pop-up. Makes the catch in and over. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. They trail here, one nothing. Out of the third inning. Now up is the Yankees DH, Juan Soto. And now two balls and a strike. You know, these Yankees doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. 
Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like you did right there. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. Righty delivers. Just missed. You know, sometimes all it Two takes ball, is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Soto aboard here at first with nobody out. And Judge spoils that one. strike three that's a pretty nasty pitch right there I call it a power curveball in the 80s it's got so much spin on it and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit it was a good one for the swinging strikeout here's Stanton now the pitch and there's a foul ball Swing and a miss for the strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. Oh, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Falling behind 2-1. Lace down the line. This looks like extra bases. Soto around second, heads for third. Coming home. He'll score easily, and they take a two-run lead. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night, and just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. So, man aboard. Now it's the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. Kicks and fires. That catches the top part of the zone. And a count one and two. At the belt and fires. The shortstop takes the ball. Still two and two after the foul ball. Got him. Inning over, and it could have been worse. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Yankees two, and the Dodgers nothing. As we go to the last of the third. Here's the second baseman, Gavin Lux. The 1 1. And a big swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Got him looking. And now one away. That's just a nasty pitch right there. I'm not surprised at all that he got the strikeout looking. You know, at the plate, looks like it's a fastball off the corner the entire way until just that very last second when that cutting action takes over and brings it back to clip the outside corner. You just got to tip your cap sometimes, but overall, that's just a nasty pitch. Here's Kike Hernandez. And it stays fair.
anything but pretty right there, but he'll take it every time. Kind of just punts it out there the other way. Didn't hit it real hard, but he got just enough of it to dunk it behind the infield. And I'll tell you what, you'll take those every day you can get them. And here comes Tommy Edmond. Nope. Good eye in that spot. Fernandez at first one gone. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball three. And that's ball four. Well, interesting, he went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Now it's the DH, Chris Taylor. And a pitch. In the dirt, blocked. And it throws off line, safe at third. Both runners move up on the wild pitch. And the double play is no longer in order. Well, that could end up being pretty costly right there. They had the double play set up as a way to get out of the inning, but instead, it becomes a big strikeout situation with two in scoring position. Second and third, one away. Here in the last half of the third. Trying to protect, keep the at bat alive. And the right hander deals. And a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. Oh, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for, a bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. Here's Mookie Betts. Second and third, two down. Swing and a miss, and that is that. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Series. And here's the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Here's a 1 1. Line drive, base hit. And the postseason success continues for him. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Here's Jose Trevino. Runner on the go. No one fouled off two and two. Nobody out. Runner at first. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Hernandez makes the catch. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Alex Verdugo stepping in now for the Yankees. And here it comes. Two one. Squirts away a little bit. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Ground ball to the right side, and it goes just foul. Man at first, one away. And another ball. Out 
outside, and that is ball four. Pitch count's getting up there now, and not saying that's the reason for this walk, but this is the point in the game when every sign of wavering starts to get everyone's attention. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Walker Bueller will depart, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. Shohei Otani taking over on the mound. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. Here is Glaber Torres. Rizzo, the lead runner out at second. Verdugo over at first with one away. That two misses balls, two and one. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Runners on the move. Two to balls. third. And got him. Yanks lead one as they're unable to add to their 2 0 lead. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Freddie Freeman. Swings through that one for strike two. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boo. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already. So he's got a good pace going, no doubt. And now Teoscar Hernandez. One down, base is empty. Wouldn't That's chase that two. time. Two balls, one strike. Next pitch is outside. Great opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three one count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. On the ground to the left. He gets there with the slide. The throw, nicely done for the out. Well, Boog, as an infielder, you have to be ready for anything. In that spot, it required going to the ground, getting a little dirty, and making a strong throw for the out. Great play. And now it's Max Muncy. Right-hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. The one, two. That one drifts inside. It's a good take. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. The Yanks leading by two. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Left hand batter waits. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. Can't connect on the curveball, struck him out. Dodgers go down quietly. They trail things here, 2 0. Back here in LA, we go to the top of the fifth, and now it's Juan Soto. 
Here's a fun fact. Dodger Stadium was also the home of the Los Angeles Angels for four years in the 1960s while they waited for Anaheim Stadium to be built. When the Angels were playing games at home, instead of Dodger Stadium, they called it Chavez Ravine Stadium. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you enough. Man at first, it's Aaron Judge now. This guy makes great contact, one of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. Foul ball still a one and two count. Kicks and deals. Fouls it off, still one and two. Look out, that ball was smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines. Just ensure safety for the fans. Last thing is a player you want to look up and see a fan get hit. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. John Carlos Stanton to the plate now. The pitch. Outside low. And it's two and one. Two balls, one strike. Soto, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Strike two. Ball on those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Still two and two after the foul ball. And another ball. So now three and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. And a 1-1. One, one. Way out front for strike two. One ball, good late two sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Right side. Playable Betts makes the grab and there's one away. One left for the Yankees, but they're on top 2-0. Here at Chavez Ravine. The batter now will be Will Smith. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. And a curve is down and in. Activity in the bullpen for the Yankees. Tim Mesa, the left-hander, is getting that big fastball of his ready to go. Holmes, a hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. The wind in the pitch. Fights it off, you'll see another. The 2-2 on the way. High in the air, out to right. One up, one down. The bat, number nine, second baseman, Gavin Lux. And now it's Gavin Lux. One down, base is empty. Fouls one off, two and two.
Bases empty, one away. Last half of inning number five. And another ball. And there's ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. The 1-1. One, one. Nope, that's the ball. And a good eye there. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Hit in the air, center field. Judge snags it. Now that, not shortstop, Tommy. Tommy Edmond at the plate. Here comes a pinch. The shortstop takes the ball. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Kicks and fires. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Chisholm makes the grab. And that is that. One left for LA. They trail it here 2 0. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Volpe. Hit to right. Betts makes the grab. One away. Up next to the the Anthony Rizzo team. steps to the plate. One down, base is empty. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Around first and hustling for second in safely it's a double and his second hit everything came together for him solid swing from start to end on time with everything really good balance nice extension and he met it out front for the line drive knock Jose Trevino stepping in now for the Yankees and a pitch. Off the mark there. And yeah, that's ball two. One out, a runner at second. And we're in the top half of the sixth. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Otani. He's kind of a prototypical bullpen arm in today's game. Electric stuff that results in a ton of strikeouts in a tough spot like this. That is a big time benefit. Swings and misses. Two down. Good pitch right there. I mean, he's attacking a location that this guy at the plate tends to have trouble with. And there's just so much information in this day and age, sometimes too much information, but the guys that can take that information, process it, and then go out there, Boog, and execute the pitch, go right after that hitter, and get the result that they were anticipating, that's really good pitching right there. And it's a good job of the pitcher and the catcher working together. Ripped on a line to center. 
No trouble here. Puts it away for the eye. And that is that. The Yanks lead one, but they hold the 2 nothing lead. And we're back. Bottom of the six. Here comes Chris Taylor. The line of the pitch. Ripped on the ground a second. Tosses the first. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Now it's Mookie Betts. The pitch. And Mookie takes. That one finds the zone. It's two and two. The Yankees up by two here in the bottom of the sixth. And a swing and a miss. Out number two. Got away with that curveball, no doubt about it. It passed right through the heart of the strike zone, and he just couldn't get the bat on it. When you strike out on one like that, that's when you start having conversations with yourself, and they're not usually very friendly. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Two down, nobody on. And that one fouled off. One and two here. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Ground ball, left side. Jazz tosses the first, and the Dodgers are set down in order. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. They're still down. It's two zip. Brent Honeywell Jr. gets handed the rock out of the pen. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Here's Glaber Torres. Glaber Torres. Chopped left side. Muncie. Fires across the diamond. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Watch Soto down. One down, base is empty. And another ball. Activity in the bullpen. Anthony Banda, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Brazier, the right hander, also getting loose. And the righty deals. Inside ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Man at first with one gone. Aaron Judge will hit next. Got the back going too soon in strike two. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. That one missed. Soto, the base runner at first with one out. Pitch misses there. And the count is filled up. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. In the air, right field. He's got it. And it's two down. Now battle. Right fielder. Giancarlo. Giancarlo Stanton at the plate. And the pitch. Well, that's off the plate.
Swing and a miss. And it's two and two. It's a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you've got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. The pitch. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Hernandez brings it in. And that is that. Set for the last half of the seventh. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. And misses the zone. Counts full three and two. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff wall. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Here's Max Muncie, that funky Muncie. Base is empty one away here in the late stages of game one. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And that one hops the wall. Muncie into second. It's a double. All over that one right there. Absolutely hammered that baseball. Very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity. And at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Clark Schmidt won't go any further. Really solid performance out of him as he leaves with a slim lead. We'll take a break. New arm when we get back. So they bring on the veteran, Tommy Canely. Pretty big spot he's coming into, trying to strand that runner at second base. So he's going to need to make some quality pitches. He does have first open if he needs to use it. And at second with one away. Now here is Will Smith. Just missed. His fans, they are... Ready to cheer about something. With the tying run at the plate, here at the bottom of the seventh. Now he breaks his back. Look to the pitcher covering, and they get the out on Smith. That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, Parker. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Gavin Lux. Runner at third, two away. On the run, sends it over to first. That's the inning. So the Dodgers leave one, and they're down 2 nothing. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Ryan Brazier gets an opportunity to square off against his former team, so I wouldn't be surprised if he came out a little extra jacked up right here. And stepping in for the Yankees, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Number 13, Jazz Chisholm Jr. The pitch. That one at the knees for a strike. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. 
And one away. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there. And I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in, kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. Next Good offering ball. misses Good down play. and away. Movement in the bullpen. Anthony Banda, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. One down, base is empty. Wouldn't chase that time. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. In one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. And he's got a double. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. One out, runner at second. Anthony Rizzo stepping in now for the Yankees. Two, two down. Runner takes off for third. And a foul ball, he stays alive. One out, the runner at second, and we're in the top of the eighth. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Jose Trevino stepping in now for the Yankees. Right-handed reliever in there for a strike at the top of the zone. Runner at second, two down. And he chases that one. And the inning is over. One left for the Yankees. They're up 2 nothing. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Mark Leiter, Jr. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Here's Kike Hernandez. Well, these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. Not close with that one. Two balls and a strike. You know, these Dodgers, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. Right into the plate. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. Tommy Edmond digs in now. Next pitch misses, and that's ball two. Holding on to a two-run lead in the bottom half of the eighth inning. Foul ball there. The wide to kick the pitch. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. A game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. So the batting order turns over. Here comes Chris Taylor. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game.
Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Here's Mookie to hit. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. The tying run at the plate. That's in there. That's strike two. They hope he's the guy to spark a comeback. He tends to play better when his team is behind, so why not him? Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Daniel Hudson. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Here's the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. Alex Verdugo. And a pitch. Swings and misses. And the count is one and two. And he deals. Ripped to third and caught. That at bat is a positive sign, even though it probably doesn't feel like it. He hit the ball hard, but it doesn't always work out in your favor. Sometimes a defender is there to make a play. So the lineup flips over. Labor Torres up to hit. Base is empty one away here at the top of the ninth. Ball Next inside. pitch is inside. Ball two. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. One down, base is empty. Hey. That clips the corner. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. now inside just missed really good take especially with two strikes and that one off the inside edge you walked him got a great back and forth and that at bad he had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there I'll tell you right now I couldn't have done it Torres leads off first with one away And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Drifts towards it. And that's a foul ball. A little early on that fastball, I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. You're usually going to see that inside fastball a little longer coming in from the opposite side, but that pitch really got in on him right there. I mean, that's a well-thrown pitch. Tough to do anything with that in terms of getting the hands through and the sweet spot of the bat to the baseball. And here it comes. And now he's falling behind Judge. And he chases that one below the zone. Now there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. Swings and misses. Couldn't catch up to the heater. So no runs, no base hits, no errors, and one man left. Hard of the order, 3-4-5 will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Yankees 2 and the Dodgers nothing.